Hello fellow flight simulators and aviation fans and welcome to this latest update uh, uh, video on uh, the update that was issued on November 21st 2019 from the guys behind the Microsoft flight simulator due to launch in 2020. So it was a quite massive update and I'm a bit late, uh, actually I'm three days late with this video because I have simply not been at my computer, you have to work and do other things now and again. Anyways, uh, let's just walk through this massive update and I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. I do encourage you to head on over to uh, either the YouTube channel for the Microsoft Flight Simulator and have a look at the video yourself or log into the insider area on flightsimulator.com. Also, you'll find that uh, link in the description below and read up on the update and have a look at the video. The video covers uh, aerodynamics and uh, goes into depth with the um, physics on the aircraft models and the uh, weather models and uh, simulation of uh, wind and uh, um, friction of aircraft and so on lots of stuff and details on that which i'm not going to cover too much in this video because i do like to keep it a bit short and to the point and it is uh, quite a massive update so let's just uh, write uh, or correction read through uh, what they um, what they're saying here on the update uh, notes so the update notes are called four and uh, it uh, focuses on uh, the sdk update now the S sdk is the development uh, kit for um, for people who want to create stuff for the simulator and it's uh, full of uh, good news and it does uh, answer a lot of questions that I know people have had regarding this new simulator and uh, basically um, they uh, right here that they have already have a uh, contact and even have been visited by some leading um, third-party uh, content developers and uh, it looks like they are going to have a broad and close collaboration with uh, already uh, famous uh, brands in the in the market so uh, obviously we know that the PMDG have uh, announced their collaboration with the Microsoft Flight Simulator and uh, we can expect the uh, most uh, famous uh, brands uh, I guess like Orbex and Aerosoft and whatnot to uh, to announce uh, their collaboration uh, soon um, the cool thing is that um, the SDK uh, kit will be available for everyone to use so that means that we will have uh, hopefully an environment uh, that we have had in uh, er in uh, communities around X-Plane where everyone with some skills uh, can develop uh, content, uh, scenery and aircraft for the simulator and uh, hopefully it will be available as freeware as well. Um, but that's very good news because it gives uh, gives uh, the simulator a life of, it, of its own. It doesn't have to be 100% uh, attached to the to the developers of the simulator for updates and for for new content uh, and it's uh, overall a very good sign and it's going to give us a very healthy and uh, good simulator so uh, i won't read through it too much but it's basically what it says here and uh, also they are pleased to announce the new video on aerodynamics which uh, we'll just uh, have a quick look at uh, later on here the next update will be uh, on uh, November 27th, so uh, during this coming week we'll have a new update uh, or a new episode, so we are obviously looking forward to that. They have also uh, updated their development roadmap for December, January, and it is uh, uh, available for preview in the insider area. Uh, they will also be uh, posting uh, the feedback snapshot, uh, although it has been delayed a week uh, to prevent overlapping with the development roadmap update. So, but that's going to be quite exciting to see as well. And also a big thank you uh, goes out from the guys behind the Microsoft Flight Simulator to all the people who attended the booth in uh, the EXO 2019 in London uh, last weekend. So they had a blast of a time. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, have a look at the video. You can find it on the insider area. Uh, not much text there, just a video, the development roadmap and uh, have a look at that uh, log into your insider area and have a look at that it'll uh, give you some info on all of the stuff uh, coming uh, in the coming month so yeah and also a lot of pictures and uh, trailers so head on over to the insider area if you haven't signed up please sign up it's an easy process and it gives you full access to to the news regarding this new simulator 
So yeah, yeah, I started to take notes on the video and uh, have uh, looked at it a few times, maybe five times actually. Uh, and it has a lot of details and it's very, very thorough. And it goes uh, into, um, into the areas of uh, aerodynamics and weather and flight modeling. And it has some, uh, some news that we already knew. Uh, it has been dripping out since uh, September. Uh, so not much new stuff there. Uh, it's a bit more compressed and to the point here maybe. Uh, but there are some, uh, some news that are quite cool that we didn't know. And I think it's absolutely awesome. I'll get back to that. So uh, yeah, in the video they talk about five areas of improvements, like um, they have improved the core and the simulation engine, uh, and the code in that. They have improved the actual simulation of uh, systems on the various aircraft in the simulator. They have reworked the aerodynamics simulation, uh, made it made basically a complete rewrite of the code, of the old code from FSX. Um, and it's almost, not quite, but almost a new weather system uh, that uh, simulates uh, correct atmospheric and air mass volume uh, and simulates how uh, the wind uh, flows over the planet basically. So you'll have uh, simulations of uh, wake turbulence as the wind moves or the air masses are moved over mountainous areas, obviously, that those curves in the terrain will uh, cause the air mass to move up and down and create waves which again will give you wake, wake tur or wave turbulence as you will uh, find when flying in mountainous terrains it will also simulate um, uh, updraft and downdraft and shear uh, when closing into or in proximity of cb clouds and uh, tcu clouds so it's it's uh, it completely simulates uh, those uh, weather conditions and those cloud systems something that we have not have quite yet um, not uh, that simulated and especially not in a visual way. So you, if, flying, if you're flying an X-plane or PMDD or um, P3D, you will not see the actual clouds there. You will maybe get the turbulence and stuff like that, but here you will have the visual and the aerodynamic properties uh, all served up for you. And it's quite locally. So, uh, so the weather can actually uh, influence one wing on your aircraft and the other wing it might be outside of those conditions. So it's quite precise as well. Um, obviously, as we have heard before, also the aircraft uh, are simulated uh, with uh, more than 1,000 surfaces uh, that generate uh, drag and lift and whatnot. So uh, surfaces on wings, fuselage, tail gear, and so on are all uh, modeled with their own uh, properties, their own uh, barometric pressure and wind directions and uh, so on. So it'll be uh, give you a very unique and precise uh, feeling of flying here. Now, skipping on to, they do speak a lot about frame rates and icing systems and all of that stuff. I'll leave, leave that uh, up to you guys to check out in the video. Now, th the thing I find especially interesting and very cool is obviously we know that they have already announced a cl collaboration with uh, some uh, market leading manufacturers like Airbus and Boeing the heart and so on uh, and the list is just going but also they have uh, enlisted the help from the real test pilots from the various companies these are pilots that are intimately familiar with the aircraft that uh, are being developed they know how the aircraft handles on the very specific situations and in many different circumstances and uh, that allows microsoft to uh, tweak the aircraft to to handle exactly as they handle in real life in certain conditions and not just rely on the poh which uh, is quite limiting so they have these test pilots flying the simulated aircraft and adjusting it to be as precise as it can possibly become in a desktop simulator and that's awesome that's so awesome i can't wait <laughs> to try it out myself it's yeah words are lacking <laughs> that's that's just awesome so yeah uh so all in all i think microsoft are looking at having a very very strong product here and a simulator that is going to be very hard to compete with at least within the foreseeable future uh, because obviously it's difficult for anyone else to have those kind of resources needed and uh, to get those uh, collaborations that they have and to have the material that they have obviously with all of access to all of their their uh, satellite imagery and their AI, but also uh, the, 
the name they have behind it, right? So they, they can contact Boeing and Airbus and get them on board and even borrow their test pilots to test these simulated aircraft. So that's just uh, insane. So yeah, uh, but basically head on over uh, to check out the video yourself. You'll find the link in the description of this video below. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed that uh, update on uh, on uh, aerodynamics uh, and aircraft modeling as much as I did. Uh, I find it immensely interesting and it just uh, intrigues me even more and makes me even more excited to try the simulator. Hope you enjoyed this uh, update. Obviously I will be back with the new update sometime during next week. I hope you have a good day onwards and I uh, hope you like and subscribe my, to my channel. It really helps me build the channel and uh, create better content for you guys. So uh, that's all for me. Take care and bye bye.